You can create you your own custom brushes by following this tutorial step by step. But first, thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. I truly appreciate your supporting. For this, I've made a free brush set for you. Grab the download link in the description below. Now, let's start. For this, I'm using a canvas size of 3000 to 140 times 3000 to 140 pixels, and the color profile is sRGB. Let's start with the first brush. To create it, you need to go to the brush set. Choose calligraphy brushes. Then use monoline to create my brush. Now go to the color palette and pick pure black. You can do this by double tapping on the black color. Now, start drawing the first brush. You can use this technique to create a signature by drawing or writing any words or letters of your choice. Draw a simple heart. Once you are satisfied with the result, fill it with black. Now, create a new layer and place it underneath the heart layer. Choose pure white and fill the layer with it. Combine both layers. Then, by tapping with four fingers on the screen choose copy. Go to brushes, tap on plus button to create a new brush set. Then tap on plus to create a new brush. Once done, the brush settings will open. Now, go to shape. Tap on edit. Then choose Import. And tap on Paste to paste the stamp. Now, invert it by tapping with two fingers on the stamp. Tap on Done to start editing. Go to Stroke Path and change the spacing to Max. Then go to Apple Pencil and reduce the opacity to None. Now, tap on About this brush and give it a name. Let's say Heart. Tap on Done and go to back to the canvas to try the new brush. But before this, I'll give the brush set a name. To do this, tap on it, choose Rename and type it. Let's say, my new brushes. Now choose a color to try the new stamp. Create a new layer. Hide the underneath one and start drawing. It is cool. But, I noticed that the brush size is small, so I'll make it bigger. To do this, tap on the heart brush then choose Proprieties. Choose maximum size and slide it to be satisfied with the size. Here, I make it 1000 for 180. Then I go to minimum size and adjust it to 224. Tap on done and go to try the brush again. It is better now. You can even change the size by tapping on the slider left. We are done now with this brush. Let's move to the second one. Hide those layers and create a new one above. Then go to brushes. Tap on water. And choose wet sponge. Duplicate the brush, then tap and hold on it to drag it into the new brush set. Now, tap on the brush to go to settings. Tap on Color Dynamic, then go to Color Pressure and choose Hue. Then, reduce it to minus 100. Then, go to Apple Pencil. Reduce Flow to 0. Then go to About This Brush and give it a name. For example, Colorful Sponge. Now, choose any color to try it. I'll choose the pink and make the brush bigger. The harder you press on the brush, the more color you apply. Even the shade becomes stronger with increased pressure. And that's it. Let's move to the third brush. Open the brush set and tap on plus button. Choose stroke path and reduce the spacing to none. Then, go to stabilization and set the amount to 25. Now, go to taper and slide the pressure taper to this point. Then go to Apple Pencil and lower the opacity to none. 
Now, go to brush set and duplicate the new brush. Then choose the brush underneath by sliding it to the right and merge them together by tapping on combine. Now, tap on the brush to go to settings. Tap on the upper brush and change the combine mode to difference. Then, choose the second brush, go to properties and set the maximum size to 69. Tap on done and choose any color to try the brush. This brush is perfect for writing or even creating line art for drawings. And that's it. Let's move to the fourth brush. From airbrushing set, choose hard airbrush. Duplicate it and move the copy to the brushes set. Now, you can choose any brush you like. Here, I'll choose a brush with small hearts to create a brush with inscriptions. I'll include some of those brushes in the description to use it. Now, duplicate the brush and move it to the new brush set. Just like before, combine both brushes into one. Now, choose the first brush and change the combine mode to subtract. Choose the second brush, go to properties and set the maximum size to 137. Go to about this brush and give it a name. For example, heart brush. Tap on done and choose any color to try the new brush. And that's it. It is so cool. Let's move to the fifth brush. From the airbrushing set choose hard blend. Duplicate it and move it to the new brush set. Now, tap on it and go to color dynamic. Choose color pressure and reduce the hue to minus 100. Now, go to apple pencil and reduce the opacity to none. Tap on about this brush and give it a name. Tap on done, then choose any color to try the new brush. It is perfect for writing a colorful text. The colors and shading will vary based on the color you choose. And that's it. Let's move now to the sixth brush. From the inking brush set, choose dry ink. Choose pure black by double tapping on it. Now, start drawing a random dots with different sizes and opacities. Once done, create a new layer underneath and fill it with pure white. Combine both layers by tapping on the top one and clicking on Merge. Tap on the screen with four fingers then choose Copy. Go to Brush Set and tap on Plus. Choose Shape. Tap on Edit. Then choose Import and tap on Paste. Tap with two fingers on the image to invert it. Tap on Done and go to Stroke Path. Reduce the spacing to none. Go to Stabilization and set the amount to 30%. Now, go to Taper and change the pressure taper to this point. Then, set the size to 73%. Now, go to Rendering and set the rendering mode to Uniform Blending. Then go to Wet Mix and change the charge to 15%. Now go to Attack and set it to 77%. Then, set Pull to 50%. Now, go to about this brush and give it a name. You can call it hair or fur brush. Now, tap on done to try it. I'll draw a cute monster. First, sketch the body and fill it with pink using the mono line brush from the calligraphy set. On a separate layer, choose the fur brush and start adding hair around and inside the body. Choose a darker shade of the color you are using, then start adding more fur randomly to give the body more volume. Go to Smudge Tool, choose the same brush and start blending the colors. As you can see, using this technique gives the character a more natural and fluffy look. Now, use a darker shade of red and do the same. You can add lighting by choosing a light red, coloring the areas where you want the light, and then using the Smudge Tool to blend it into the darker areas. Once satisfied, add two eyes and a tiny mouth. And that's it. Let's move to the 7th brush. 
Open a new layer and fill it with pure black. On a separate layer, choose pure white and use the monoline brush to draw a circle. Then, fill it with pure white. Now, duplicate the circle layer, hide the duplicated layer, and start editing the original circle. Tap on the eraser, choose the soft brush, lower the opacity to 72% and start erasing the center of the circle to give it a bubble look. Now, turn on the other circle and apply the same erasing technique. This process adds extra effects to the circle, making it look like a real bubble with shadows and transparent edges. Keep doing that until you're satisfied with the result. Now, go to Gaussian Blur and apply it to both circles until the edges become smooth. You can add extra details, like a glittery star or glow lines which you can find in the Luminance brush set. Remember to do that on a separate layer. After drawing those lines, go to Gaussian Blur and apply it to keep the look natural. Now, I'll add a tiny glowing star to the edge of the circle. Once you are satisfied, merge all the layers together. Then tap on the layer and choose Copy. Go to the new brush set, then tap on Plus. Tap on Shape, then Edit. Tap Import then choose Paste. Tap on Stroke Path, then increase the spacing to about 70%. Tap on Stabilization and increase the amount to max. Then change the pressure to 45%. Now, go to Properties and set the Smudge Pull to None. Then, change maximum size to 300%, and minimum opacity to max. You can change the spacing between bubbles by tapping on stroke path and choose spacing. Now, go to Apple Pencil and reduce the opacity to none. Give the brush a name by tapping on about this brush and type a name. Let's try it now. I feel the brush size is too small, so I'll make it bigger by tapping on it. Go to Properties and reduce the maximum size to max. Let's try it now. It's better, let's move to the 8th brush. Create a new layer and fill it with pure black. Create a layer above, then choose pure white and draw a circle using the monoline brush. Fill it with white. Create a layer above and turn on clipping mask. Choose Soft Brush and start shading with gray. Once you're satisfied, go to Gaussian Blur and apply it to achieve natural shading. Now, turn off the clipping mask layer, then tap with four fingers on the screen and choose Copy All. Go to Brush Set, tap on plus then go to Path Stroke and reduce spacing to 5%. Now, go to Stabilization and increase the amount to max. Tap on Shape, then choose Edit and Import then tap on Paste. Go to Rendering and change Rendering Mode to Intense Blending. 
Increase burnt edges to max. Now, change burnt edges mode to normal and blend mode to lighten. Then, turn luminance blending on. Now, go to color dynamic and raise secondary color to max. Go to Apple Pencil and reduce the opacity to none. Then, set the tilt to 8. Go to Properties and reduce the preview size to 10%. Then, raise the maximum size to max. You might notice some dots on the stroke. These will give the brush a nice effect. Now, tap on Done and turn on the shadow layer. Tap on the screen with four fingers and choose Copy All. Now, duplicate the brush. Go to Shape, tap on Edit then Import and choose Paste. Now, go to Rendering and choose Light Glaze. Let's try it now. So cool, I think it it perfect for creating a color unique text. Let's move to the last brush. Create a new layer and fill it with pure black. Create a layer above and draw a circle then fill it with pure white. Turn on alpha lock on the circle layer. Then start shading with a soft brush and gray color. Draw a circle like this. Then, add a gray shading using soft brush. Use white and make the light area bigger. Go to Gaussian Blur and apply it to blend colors together. Now, go to the layer and turn off Alpha Lock. Copy all by tapping on screen with four fingers. Then go to Brush Set and tap on Plus to create the brush. Tap on Shape and choose Edit. Then go to Import and tap on Paste. Now, go to Rendering and then change Rendering Mode to Light Glaze. Then, tap on Color Dynamic and set Hue to 43%. Tap on Properties and change the maximum size to 157%. Set the minimum size to 3%. Go to Apple Pencil and change the opacity to None. Now, go to About This Brush and give it a name. Tap Done and go to try it. And here is a 3D brush. Hope you enjoy this video guys. If you have any questions please leave it in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye.